Hello there, this is Ethan Lyon, and today I'm here to talk about dual citizenship and airflow. And so, when I, I'm, I'm think, considering moving to Germany uh, for maybe like six months or so, and I was looking into, you know, what we'd like to live in, to live in Germany, and I eventually came across what it'd be like to be a citizen of the United States and Germany. And I kind of went down the rabbit hole, and I found this fun little fact that I want to share with you today which is about dual citizenship. And you know, obviously you have to abide by the laws of both countries. And I never really thought about this before, but you have the United, if the United States is at war with the country that you serve in the military for, you potentially could jeopardize your military or your citizenship of the United States. I'm assuming the other country as well. So, you know, depending on whatever the US's military uh, I guess goings on are kind of dictates whether you can be a U.S. citizen, which I never really considered, but it makes 100% sense. So I just wanted to share that with you today and kind of go over, you know, how does this relate to Airflow? So I have a lot of projects in Airflow for work, for personal, and I want to keep everything separate. And the way that Airflow works is you have the environment variable Airflow home. And wherever that is pointing is where your web server is going to be running from and your database and everything is going to be running from. So what we're going to do today is use Germany and the United States as two different examples of Airflow instances. So you can see here, uh, this is my United States Airflow instance. And I have my database, my configuration documents, and everything like that. And over here, we have the Germany Airflow instance, and you can see everything under that. Pretty cool. And so what we're going to do is we're going to export Airflow home, and we're going to give it the current directory. Then we're going to say uh, Airflow web server. What this is going to do is going to start the web server. And you can see that it's on port 8080. That's a default. And you'll see how we'll be able to manipulate that to have have another instance. There we go. OK, so you can see here uh, that was our United States, our United States Airflow instance. And you can see we have our US DAG and we got some hamburgers. Love those tasty hamburgers. <laughs> and then let's look at the Germany DAG. And so what we're gonna do is do the exact same thing, export airflow home. And because we're in the Germany directory, we can then say airflow web server and we give it another port. So we'll do 8081. Now remember this is 8080. You can see now that we're running on port 8081. Then go back to our admin. And then we have our Germany DAG, and then we got some solid rotten. So that's how you can run two different Airflow instances on your computer at the same time. It's not the best thing to do because you are using the Airflow home and whatever the default Airflow home is on your computer you're, you're gonna be going to. And if you're switching back and forth, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I would recommend only using one Airflow instance at once. A lot of the troubleshooting of getting the web server up and running, like where are my DAGs, a lot of that has to do with where your Airflow home is pointing to. Once I figure that out, I have I have no issues with my DAGs and you know things not being there because I'm pointing to the wrong uh, file path. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, maybe you learned a little bit, you know, something about dual citizenship. But it's how two different instances can run at the same time on your computer, just like being a part of two different countries. <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Bye bye.